As Russia's invasion of Ukraine intensifies, some Russians opposed to the war are speaking out. One of them is Mikhail Kazyanov. He was once Putin's prime minister. Today, he is the leader of the People's Freedom Party of Russia, an opposition party founded in the final years of the Soviet Union. He's also a fierce critic of the Putin regime. Earlier, I spoke to Kazyanov about the war's impact on Russia and how Vladimir Putin has changed since they worked together. Mr. Kazyanov, thank you for joining us. All right. Hello. I, I want to start with a couple of uh, p bits that have been in the news this week, if I can. Uh, Russia cutting off gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria uh, because they refused to pay in Russian rubles. What, 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 what do you think that tells us about the way Putin is using oil and gas as leverage in this conflict? Yes, he is angry. That's absolutely. He is in shock that such a uh, many strong packages of sanctions were imposed, and he didn't expect that. And he wants, of course, somehow to press or press hardly on European European consumers. And that's why he understands that inevitable reduction of uh, purchase of natural gas from Putin's Russia. And he wants to predict this and trying trying to overcome the sanctions because just paying in rubles it means just. To buy to buy rubles by using dollars or euros, but uh, international reserves are frozen, and Mr. Putin wants to pay he its debt, Russia's debt, by by rubles. But yesterday or today, finally, Russian Federation paid its coupon on euro bonds, which uh, was due a month ago. A technical period finished, and Russia finally paid in hard currency, not in rubles. That's what Mr. Putin wants to undertake some efforts with the, with the uh, European gas consumers, right. but he failed to. D does that indicate to you that the sanctions are having an impact, even though it, it may be taking a long time? Yes, absolutely. Sanctions already have a, a great impact on financial system. That's definitely the case. And they will continue to aggravate problems in the economy. And people with, with very soon uh, will very soon will feel, especially uh, middle class people living in uh, big cities, that they cannot uh, keep the same style of life they, they had before. And uh, in fact, that uh, all population very soon would understand uh, where the the actual source of problems uh, is right now my, half of population at least just blaming this ugly West for this tough policy against vis-a-vis uh, -vis Russia. But with the, all these explanations and uh, uh, given by the propaganda, people cannot eat this every day. And in fact, and in fact, such a rich country with such a, um, uh, would say, the ability to 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 live as prosperous country, just the situation that uh, uh, squeezing and getting worse and worse. Real incomes of people uh, reduced uh, reduced dramatically already yeah. eight years in a row, and this year uh, we expect 15 percent minus 15 percent of real income. So, so once Russians start to feel the sanctions more broadly, as you say, even even middle class Russians, what could be the result of that? Are Russians able to rise up? Are they able to voice their anger at Putin once they start to understand what is happening? Uh, there is no answer for this question, and never no one could answer this, because Russian people, that's very, I would say, uh, unpredictable. And for, for all the history, and especially now, uh, the, in the situation of very sophisticated and effective propaganda, uh, half of population are completely foolish by propaganda, and that's why they, for a certain period of time, will continue to believe that Putin is right. And that's what everything said on television is correct. But very soon, as I say, they will not find answers for, for, for crucial, crucial aspects, and they will start raising their voice. And in fact, the most important thing is just uh, Mr. Putin should be seen as defeated. If it's the case, that's, of course, beginning of the end of Putin's era. Yeah. You, you of course, are, are the leader of the People's Freedom Party. As an opposition leader who, who's not in Russia right now, do you have any influence on that? Is there any way for you to uh, help better inform Russians or help put pressure on Putin's regime? 
Yeah, that's what we're trying to do just with this our um, possibility to be in, in the Twitter and in other communication with our activists and regions. But it is difficult because, you know, sure. you know, just for people to transfer this information, it is quite dangerous. Me, I'm already just outside Russia because I, I couldn't live with such a risk as a put in, to be put in jail for criticism for yes. up to 10 years and a sentence. Just already we have a few cases already, criminal cases open for my activists and regions. There's already three people already in jail, but but the Mao activists trying to explain people in a, in, a, in a, uh, meetings with them just what is going on and uh, who is right and uh, who is a criminal. You, you you have worked with Putin 20 years ago when when you were prime minister. C can you give us a sense of how he has changed um, and and what has led him to 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 become who he is and and do what he is doing, which seems to be an offensive really against the West and and NATO nations. Yeah, he, he's a completely different person right now. That's absolutely the case. And in my time, 20 years ago, just when we worked together, just at that time, he uh, su uh, supported all the, re all the reforms my cabinet um, launched and initiated. But today, today, these days, uh, last 10, 10 years at least, this is absolutely difficult, absolutely different person. And he is now just a real KGB agent. He, hmm. not, he, he doesn't uh, 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 pretend anymore to be a democratically devoted person. He's real KGB agent and uh, he works this way. His um, uh, worldview is uh, distorted. Distorted worldview, just as completely, completely different person. He cannot rule the country in 21st century. How, how, I, this is not a fair question. I do ask it of other people, but I'll, I'll ask it of you as well, Mr. Kazyanov. How does this conflict end then, given, given what you know now of how Putin behaves and how he thinks? Yeah, it is difficult to, to, to predict, it's difficult to make, make just focus on that. But it seems to me, just with all these aspects what we have right now, that it will be a long, long-standing conflict. In fact, right now, just as we all would like, the Ukrainian army would get a decisive uh, advantage. And uh, thanks to, to the Western countries supplying Ukrainian people, which are very brave, and um, it was unpredictable how, how, how just brave they are and how just they, they resist. Um, and then, uh, with all those supplies of equipment, uh, there is a possibility that the Ukrainian army could get a, a, a decisive advantage. In this case, of course, the situation will start start changing and that's what I, I I see that people would look Putin as defeated in this case that would be starting some I wouldn't say turmoil but some changes in, in people's mind in Russia will start to appear and that will be just I think short period of time not one month but yeah. one year maybe yeah. two year maximum for regime change by Russians. Are, are you worried about about um, how your country is becoming, because of this, increasingly isolated from the world and how that will leave um, the people, the, the Russian people? I'm absolutely worried about this. And uh, of course, Mr. Putin created a big, big problem by all his activity on the last uh, 10, 15 years. And uh, all his activities contrary to longstanding interests of Russian people. And of course, for Russians, for all of us, that will be a decade to restore the reputation and somehow good relations with West and neighbor countries. It is difficult, difficult situation what Putin led Russia to. Mr. Kasyanov, thank you so much for your perspective. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.